In previous videos, I've shown you how to download from Instagram or Flickr, um, but there's lots of other websites that contain like potentially good data sets. So then I look, we look at this tool called Pindown. Um, Pindown allows you to download from Pinterest, Instagram, Tumblr, and Behance. Uh, and for those of you that are not command line people, um, it's a nice tool in that it's just a browser extension. So you don't need to worry about anything in terms of installing like Anaconda or learning the command line. Um, so for those of you who are a little bit uh, trigger shy because of command line tools, um, you can look at Pindown. So Pindown isn't free. Um, it does cost $2 a month. Um, there's a free version, I believe, as well, but it only allows you to download 250 images per board. So I guess it's like uh, you only get 250 images per um, per download, which I guess you know you could still make that work. But um, just be aware that like two bucks a month, um, I think it's actually pretty worth it because uh, it does do a lot of work for you. Um, but it's sort of up to you. Um, so just be aware of that. I'll leave a link to this um, in the uh, YouTube description. Um, but yeah, and I think it only works with Chrome. So uh, Someone will correct me if I'm wrong there, but uh, I think it only works with Chrome. So you do have to use Chrome. Um, so let's take a look at how this works. I've already installed it. Um, you just go ahead and click buy and it installs it into uh, your Chrome extensions up here. Um, so I found a Pinterest board or an image I like. Um, what I really like about this sort of tool is that you can utilize Pinterest uh, sort of related images. Um, these are a lot of like uh, image searches that it does, like a visual search engine type of thing. So I'm seeing a lot more of these sort of blurry, blobby-ish images um, which I think will be pretty cool for like a style game model. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click our little button up here, which is our pin down. And it says, you know, where do you want to save this? So I think if you press uh, the settings icon here, um, it'll give you a default folder of pin down. Um, file names for description. Yep. It, uh, so just make sure these all these are all the right settings you want. Um, download queue number. Or one tap. Okay, I don't actually know what that means. Um, looks like you can set this to uh, how many download queues you're doing. So maybe when I leave it at four, let's do that. Um, cool. So now we can come back here, and uh, it looks like it's going to come on. There we go. Um, so it's just going to give us a related to pin and then a pin ID. Um, this is fine for me. Um, I'll figure out what this what this pin is once I download it. So go ahead and click less rock. Um, okay, sure. So let's just see how long this takes. And it looks like we're processing. Yep, so now we're seeing a bunch of images get downloaded. Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. Just like with anything, um, you will run into issues where, um, let's go to our downloads folder here. So here we have a folder now inside of um, our downloads. And if I double click on this, you'll see that we are downloading images. And you're getting some ads. Um, which will happen. So, you know, again, remember that this is actually going to be a bit of a frustrating experience just because it is scraping images and you don't always have control over all of these. Um, or like you're going to need to do a lot of cleanup, right? So in a lot of cases, downloading ads, um, I could probably, you could probably fix this by running like an ad blocker. Um, that might be one way to do it, but just in case, uh, we're just going to let this go. Um, we'll deal with this sort of in a post-processing, uh, world. Um, but you'll see here, I'm getting some good images. Now, the other problem is, in addition to ads, we're probably also going to have some issues around image size. So if I want to do this for style again, and I want to get really high res images, I need 1024 by 1024. This looks pretty good. Um, some of these, however, might not be. So let's actually switch to this view. Um, yeah, this one isn't very large. Uh, that one I can make work. So some of these, again, you know, you're just going to figure out how to make them work using various tools, like maybe with some of these, because they are pretty abstract, um, I could go ahead and uh, tape, put these in the data sets tool library and do some manipulation to make them work. Um, I could also potentially bring them into um, a tool like, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, like, you know, uh, in Photoshop, and I could actually um, do some things using like the uh, content aware filler other things. So I'm getting some good in images here. Um, I don't actually don't know how long this is going to run for. I think some of this just runs as long as uh, I want it to. Um, 
and I can go ahead and press stop when I'm ready. This is going to tell me how many images I want to download from. So it's sort of giving me a number here. Uh, I might let this run for a little bit longer and then um, we'll stop it. Uh, and the way to stop it is just to come over here and press the stop button. And there you go. So um, that was really easy. You could go ahead and do this for any number of images in Pinterest. It'll also work with boards. So if you find a board from someone uh, that you really like, you go ahead and download all those images as well. So now let's take a look at how to uh, use pin down on Behance. So one thing to note about Behance is you do need to be logged in in order to download these images. Um, so I logged into my account. I found uh, this page by Kevin Krotgartner, which is just a nice little uh, aerial photos of Australia. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use pin down on these. Now there's only 36 images here. One of the things I'm guessing you'll find with uh, Behance is that you're going to have to probably scrape a lot of different individual pages in order to build up a decent sized data set. Um, but the way to do this is you just come, come to a page, make sure you're logged in, click our little pin down button here, and click our Let's Rock. Um, and I have to say, I found that uh, downloading from Behance on pin down is pretty fast. Cool, so there we go, we're done. Um, so maybe let's go and find another page. Let's go back to Discover. And let's see if we have a second page here of things we can grab. Or actually, um, I feel like there's probably also a way to um, look for a similar. Is there like a similar projects thing in Behance? Let's see. Long scroll. <clears throat> right, so there are there's some tags here. So let's go ahead and look at uh, abstract. Cool, so here's some more abstract images. Um, this is pretty cool, lots of like, again, more gradient stuff. Um, cool, so let's scrape this one as well. There's only 10 photos here. So again, you're gonna have to do a lot of like manual work, but um, pin down because there's no coding involved does make it fairly easy. And if I come over to our downloads folder, And I look at these images. My guess was kind of going to be nice about Behance is uh, because it's artists, I bet there's going to be lots of decent high res images. So, yeah, 1200 by 1600. Um, and if we look at Chroma Flow, uh, wow, 6000 by 4000. So, you could crop, you could make lots of tiny little squares out of this one and maybe get something pretty interesting out of it. So, um, yeah, so using this on Behance is pretty awesome. I actually have not done this before and I will probably start to. Um, it's pretty cool. So one other place that uh, we can look at scraping from is Tumblr. So let's do Tumblr um, sci-fi GUI. That's a site, right? Does anyone remember this one? Yeah, science fiction interface this is what I was looking for. So maybe a cool idea here would be to scrape all these and generate like new sci-fi interfaces using style again or something. Um, so we can come over here and um, this is a Tumblr. So we can click on the pin down Something fun is going on with uh, the CSS here, um, but this should be okay. So let's go ahead and click Let's Rock. And here again, we're downloading all the images on the page. Done. Now, one thing I'm interested in is, was that actually all of the images on the page? And if there's a pagination setting, if we have to then click through the second page to get more. It's looking like... Well, I'm really interested in what's going on here. So I don't know how many images that downloaded. Let's find out. says it finished. We've got lots of good images here. I would need to check to see exactly how far along that got us. Um, my guess is there's more than six, there's more than 50 images in here, but there might be a limit. A lot of these tools in scraping things have limits on how many images you can download at once, um, plus any number of other things that are going on. So I'm just going to like, oftentimes it's also like you have to have the, the page, images have to actually be loaded into the page. So I'm going to come through here. Okay, so we're at the end now, maybe. Yes, we're at the end.
Okay, so I think um, doing this tool is also quitting my screen recorder for whatever reason. It might just be overwhelming my CPU. Um, but I was able to run this, so I ran this again um, from this page, and uh, it won't show it because I've already run it. Uh, but I ran it again, um, and I was able to download far more images. Um, so we come over here, downloads. Um, so instead of the 150 or whatever I had before, I'm now at 295. So I was able to download a lot more images. Um, so this is kind of the downside of one of these things is that you do have to scroll through all of these pages um, to make sure that you download uh, all the images to the browser, and then you can scrape them using pin down. So uh, a pretty cool nice way to use this with Tumblr, but it does have some limitations. Um, if for me, I might try to actually use something like Beautiful Soup on Tumblr. I think you might get better results, although it require a little bit of finessing in order to, to get the um, UI and get everything loaded into uh, Beautiful Soup to download. But this does work. Um, I'll say some of the images here are a little small. Um, so again, you know, like anything, you'll have to use the dataset tools library to make some of this work for you. Okay, so uh, so far we've gotten this to work with Pinterest, Behance, and Tumblr. Um, a note about Instagram. Um, I've now tried two or three times to get this to work with Instagram, and it does not work. Uh, not sure what the deal is, if it's on me or if it's something that I'm not understanding. Um, but for me, I was maybe able to get like 12 images downloaded and then just completely stalled out. So my recommendation is to still use Instagram Scraper um, if you're going to try to scrape Instagram. I find it way faster. It works... I've yet to run into any issues using Instagram Scraper, um, whereas I've now tried a bunch of times to pin down, and it's just not working. So um, still, I think you know, at $2 a month, um, using this for Pinterest, Behance, and Tumblr is a pretty great tool. Um, it doesn't work on Instagram, so it goes. Uh, but I still think there's a ton of value here. So um, definitely play with this, especially if you are not a command line person. I think there's uh, a lot you can do with pin down to build up a really cool data set. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please drop me a note on YouTube or on my Slack channel, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.